The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this treasury bond just like we did yesterday. Uh, repetition is the mother of knowledge. So you want to remember these things because they do work out really well. A 135 pattern has two components it has lower tops, okay, lower bottoms. That's on the downside. There's also an upside of this if you wanted to do that one. But there's your first high, second high, and third high. You notice the time? There's 24 trading days between those two. It's coming in yesterday or today, and you can see spot on. Now, the last time we had a rally here, we rallied one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. This time we rallied 13 days, just like we did here. This was a 13-day rally. This 13-day rally didn't get anywhere near what this one did, which was telling you that you had some weakness coming into the market. And if you look at the price swings from your high – down to your low, going to come in right at the old 50%, well, almost exactly 61% retracement here. And the number we were looking at was 2208, as I recall. You'll be able to see it there was right there, uh, right in the money. Uh, this is where you want to be looking at it, somewhere between 122 and 12208. We were looking at 12202. It's down uh, oh, five six hundred $600 in that level. So you'd be at a break-even point on this one if you were watching. That's why we're watching it so very closely. Now, the, the uh, chairman of the board there, uh, Mr. Powell, is out there talking, uh, uh, beating the bushes about all the stuff that's going on in the world, and I'm sure that's making the markets uh, move around quite a bit. Gee, it's like a love fest watching him on TV. My goodness, they just uh, they adore that man, which they probably should. Okay, <laughs> another big one here. We had another one here that was lined out pretty nicely. Let's get this up here. Let's get this. Oh, I want to get the daily chart up here for the, uh, excuse me, the four hour. This is the gold market. Oh, what happened? Something's not right. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I don't know what caused this. Okay, here's the gold that we're looking at right here. We made another new high up here. Those of you that were listening to us last night, I believe we had this pattern that we were looking at. We'll get this over here. There was, we had the ABCD measuring here to 2167. The high was 2172. It backed off just a little bit, only about $18, which of course is the harmonic a harmonic number. And if we went back to one of these old lows here, that was probably a spot on 618 retracement here of what we're looking at right here. So let's move on one second and we'll see what's going on with some of these others here and uh, we've got some pretty good action moving on here uh, in the market so let's get moving here and see where we are with some of these other things that we've got hold on one second folks I, my alert has come on and I want to make sure that uh, I have everything lined up the way that I wanted to have it lined up so we're all right there okay now this is the bonds we've already covered that now we've covered the gold now the gold is probably topping up in here but remember this thing could possibly, on the weekly chart, go a whole lot higher. That's why you've got to be really super careful. See, it's made a new high, which is okay, but it still has an objective out here a little bit higher. We were thinking that it would hold this level. So far, it has. That's 67. That's what we're looking at. The high has been 72, but that doesn't mean that it can't go. What you do is you try to get your... Uh, what do you call your loss level down to a point where you don't have to risk virtually nothing at all and that's what you want to be uh, looking for okay so that's it so there are a lot of things happening today folks in fact I just noticed here that the S&P has gone right back up to the old high again and it looks like it's ready to go above this level here to get somewhere uh, about this one uh, 1.618 number at 51.64 the uh, Dow Jones is still uh, lagging behind, but uh, not by much. It's catching up rapidly here, trying to do six things at once. Here is the Dow Jones. You'll see here 
The Dow Jones has just made a lower low here for just a bit, and now it's rallying back sharply along with the rest of the market. And that's it. There's a very important pattern here in the Dow Jones today, folks. Remember, the Dow Jones is not so much affected by the AI stuff. So if you look at this hourly chart, this is really what's happened here. You can see the ABCD pattern that we had here. This was the high that we made back on the 23rd of February. We made a beautiful ABCD down here two days ago on the 5th. And what we're doing now is we're making an ABCD move right up here. 389.75. That's another 150 points from where we are right now. Could we make that in a heartbeat? Wouldn't take much at all. You can see the first rally back was like this. Second rally back would be almost the same thing. It's just repeating over and over again. So uh, I, I have to take a, a short sale up here at this level because that's everything that I look for. You've got here again. Here's a perfect example of that 135 pattern. Let's just get it up here. And we'll see it right here. Hold on one second. And uh, we've got it right here. Uh, bear with me here one second. There's where we are. Okay, there's the first high. Uh, this doesn't look like the high lines up very nicely, but we're going to try it. There's your ABCD. Now, that doesn't come in until uh, it's Monday. <laughs> so it might not get up to that level, but uh, that's what you'd like to see from high to high to high. We'll have to see where it is at that time. But right now... There is an ABCD schedule to come in at 389.75. So we'll watch that uh, as we follow some of these others. Now let's get to where the pedal meets the metal. I've got to put these in order here so that I can bring up the wheat because this is the one that we've been waiting for for a long time. And you know what? We are still waiting. Here is the daily chart of May wheat. Okay, now as we look at this, you'll see and move this over. Now, this is, the, this is where the big money is going to be right in here, folks. We made a lower low today at 28. Okay, we rallied up to 59, 7 cents. We're back down near the lows of the day. We got a re big report tomorrow. Okay, you don't want to do anything of that, to that Friday report. I am going to recommend not put any orders in until Monday or Sunday night. Probably Sunday night is where I'd be looking, Sunday night or Monday. We might have to pay a higher price for it. I don't think so because the whole world is so bearish on wheat that you can't believe it. This is a – if you want to get – even with uh, – with, uh, uh, what's his name? Vladimir – what's his name? Vladimir Putin? Well, whatever, whatever Putin's first name is. I don't even remember. Pedro? No, it's not Pedro. Well, anyway, uh, what do we say? Consulary of Putin. He is heavily short. The wheat market. He's pounding the wheat market to hurt Ukraine because they don't get their grain money from them and the prices keep collapsing. And that's really why the wheat market is breaking down so badly. There was a big article that Rich Anderson sent me. He paraphrased it for me and that was basically it. But we're looking at time and patterns and this is what we're watching here coming in here with this wheat, uh, which will be very, very shortly. What we'll do is we'll watch uh, from the high to – there's a big lunar cycle coming in here on Monday. That's a, the full moon. And you'll see the last time we came down, it was for 17 days. And this next one coming down, ooh, it's only going to be about uh, 10 days. So we're, we're watching it here on the 10th and 11th. There's your, there's your new moon coming in here on, uh, on Sunday, the uh, – the 10th, 10th and 11th, okay? All right, stay tuned, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've got a chart here of the natural gas. We've had a request. It's an hourly chart going over the last uh, eight days. As you can see here, we're seeing that same pattern that we looked at in the Treasury bonds. There's your first high. There's your second high. There's your third high. Okay, what we're going to do now is to measure to see if these swings are close from high to high. As you can see, 19 hours, 19 hours, the ratios. This happened to be exactly 382 off of this high. Let's see what it was off of the other high, which was right here. My guess is spot on, 618. There it is, right there, right at the 50% level. So anyway, that's what you had a perfect one set up, and it's, of course it's had a big move down, and it's reaching the target levels as we speak right now. It's heading down quite a bit. The target on this, of course, would be this swing right here, your A, B, C, D leg coming in right about now we're just a tad below it uh, so we're really close to that move this over a little bit and you'll see here what we've got it's just been going up for quite a bit here with and look at the beautiful i haven't even seen this <laughs> i looked at it today for the first time but this thing this thing has been going up here for uh well over uh two and a half weeks now three weeks so this is a good sign going up now we want to look for guess what a 382 retracement. Let's just clean this up here since we're looking at, I'm just looking at so many things with the grains and the stocks and the uh, crude oil and the gold. It's just, here's our 382 coming in right here. This is going to be a really important one here. So put your limit minder in here. We're only two bucks away. We're going to hit that here today. So watch this uh, very, very closely here. I want to make sure we watch this closely. To me, this would be, if you were short this, I would be, uh, certainly getting out of it that 382 now because if that's really a good one it's going to be pretty good as we went up you'll see we had some really big moves and they only backed off you see the first swing pulled back right to the 50 percent the second one pulled back to the 382 the next one pulled back to the 382 the next one missed the 382 and now we're getting ready to finally get one right here at this level right here so Keep a close eye on this. It's only uh, $2 and a half away. That would make a very interesting one. And we have a, a, of course, there's a high in here, so you can't really uh, 
can't count this because that's the highest high. So your ABCD is already completed, and all we're looking at is a retracement down into this level right here. And this is a pretty good retracement, folks, because this is larger than anything we've had in the last, uh, let's put this up here, since this thing started down. It's larger than any swing that we've had until this one we have today. So that's another reason to tell us to watch for this. Uh, probably not today, but, well, there's two hours to go, so I'd still be watching it at this level uh, right here. I, I miss this one here. As I look at these, in retrospect, I can see some really nice, you know, beautiful little three drive to a bottom there. Uh, way back here. I can't remember what we were talking back with on the 16th of uh, February. Uh, so much, well, that was a bad day for me because that was a day after JT passed away. Anyway, I have his funeral tomorrow. A couple of nice friends are coming in uh, from one from Canada, another one from Puerto Rico. And uh, we're going to visit a little bit and have some memories and Probably shed a few tears, but boy, he was sure a stand-up guy. All right, let's move on here to the next one. Someone's asked a question here about this S and P because uh, how 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 <laughs> one point how strongly do I feel about this A B C D? I feel very strongly about it. The problem is, it's went a little bit higher, but not very much. Your stop would be above this level for sure. You know, that's really what you'd be watching. How high did it get? Sixty and a quarter, something like that. I think it's certainly, you know, tradable. Let's just move on here. What we'll do is we'll come up right up here and move this out of the way and come right over here like this. Hit the button and we'll just do uh, just do a couple here. Sell two at the market. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put a buy stop in here of five points. And bear with me here. Put it right above the 618 there. Boom. And that there, that's about as low as risk you can get. We'll make that a GTC. And boom, and a bing, bada boom. And there you go. And we'll see what's going on. Okay. Anyway, that's what I'm watching here today. It's You know, it's an ABCD pattern. A person should trade all ABCD patterns no matter what. If you have your stops a little too close, sometimes that's not good. You can see here, sometimes they bounce around. And uh, the NASDAQ is, you know, it has, it's like a, it's on steroids, steroids. So you've got to be really careful when you're, when you're dealing with that one, okay? All right, let's move on here to the next uh, thing that we want to talk about, and that is the Japanese yen. I have several requests about this today. Only take me a second to pull it up here. Here is the, um, nope, that's the euro yen. I want the dollar yen. Hold on one second. It's going to be right here, okay? Having some action over here finally. This is frustrating, and I'll tell you why. We really wanted to sell this thing at 151.28. We only got to one. We missed this by 30 pips, and let's look where we are now. We've come all the way down. We've dropped 300 handles, or you know, three. That's 300. Three grand is what's that's dropped so far. Okay, all right. So we missed that by just a little bit. That's nothing. Nothing you can do about that. You can see it goes sideways for all this time period. The only thing you can do. And that is to go down to a smaller time frame like the hourly and try to find something in an hourly pattern that would give you that type of move. And the only thing that I can see, and look at this, now, now you've got some lower tops coming in here. You can see you have, these are, these are higher tops, okay? This is where we just missed it. Now you have a lower top here and a lower top here. The only thing you can do, and I, I uh-oh, we've got a winner here in the room. Let's see what it's all about here. We've got Michael from Niagara Falls asking about the S&P. What can I do for you, Michael? Yeah, hi, Larry. It's the 15th anniversary of the uh, March 6, 2009 uh, famous bottom. And uh, I was thinking, do you think maybe, just maybe, we're, we're making some kind of a cycle trend change today, <laughs> or, the, or at least this week, which is an inverse of the March 6, 2009 low? Because you notice we initially, oh, initially yeah, the market I, dropped off pretty sharply early in the week, yeah. and then it reversed, and, and they bought the dip, made a new high, and I'm anticipating it is another fade. They just fade a, again, and then next week we just we really start down hard. Michael, I've had very little luck with uh, anniversary dates, and I had the fortune, the good fortune, of working with Mr. Twentyman for 58 years, yeah. and his whole thing was anniversary dates. And he gave yeah. up on that back in 1988. 
because uh, he would see some of them, but they were so irregular that it was really nothing that they could use, and so he just didn't do it anymore, and that was the that was the reasoning behind it. So, I I know it's uh -huh. a big anniversary date that that came in on yep. March the fifth, and we also had a little bottom there around the ninth. But what I'm looking at is we do have that lunar cycle, and you know I the trouble with the astrology is it's like anything else; it only works part of the time. So, uh, I think there might be a turn coming, but you know this thing it should have turned. Well, it hasn't really violated it yet with the NASDAQ, but boy, it's very close to taking out that high that we made, you know, last Friday. It's so the office that's a bad sign. the night where it just kept going down. Everybody was bearish, bearish, bearish. Yeah, that's right. And then you had the short covering rally. This is the office. Well, we'll Everyone's see. Everyone's bullish, bullish, bullish. Okay? Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Call in if it starts to work. Okay, buddy? The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're looking at the dollar uh, yen here, and basically, you know, you don't see much. This is an hourly chart, goes over, you know, last 10 days. What you're trying to do is to find a place where, if you really believe you want to get short in here, the only thing you could two things you could do. First of all, you could draw a trend line like this, and if it breaks that trend line, 
that says, okay, I want to get short. That's one way of getting in. The second thing is, is to wait for 382. Now, you notice we're going to blow this up so we can see it. This is a really heavily traded uh, foreign exchange thing. So we're going to look at it here, blow it up here. There's your ABCD to the uh, – shut the front door. Problem is when it jumps around, it changes prices. There's your ABCD to the downside. Now, after you make that ABCD, you see this rally that took two hours? What I would do is I would go down to a smaller time frame and see if that – there it is right here. You can see it coming down. There's a move down. What I would be watching for to see if that was a 382. Now, here was the ABCD coming down. There's the rally right here. So you go back to your high. Make sure we get it, which would be right over here. There was your high, and you come down to this next low that you made the ABCD, and there's your – there's your two-hour rally right into that 382 right there. Then you have another one and another one, and that's why you've been uh, heading down. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea of what we're looking at here uh, when we look at some of these currencies. Now, we should look at the dollar index because it has gotten creamed. We mentioned that, that it was getting ready to get creamed just the other day because we were uh, at one six, uh, excuse me, 104 and having a great deal of trouble. And as you can see, uh, Troubled in River City has uh, reared its head. There we are. 104 was a 61% retracement. And now we're coming down. But you notice, as we look at this, you can see we're making an ABCD pattern right now. So let's just measure that. Let's just go to the hourly so we can see it just a little bit better here. There's where we are on the downside. You're going to be able to see it coming down. There it is. Let's just clean all of this out. All right. And watch the. The little ABCD patterns unfold. There's your first high right here. Then you have the ABCD structure that takes you right up to there, which is your 61% retracement. Draw it in so it doesn't look like. Remember, these are this is real cash money, folks. So comes within what uh, two pips of the exact high, and now we're coming down here and we're making an ABCD to the downside. We'll draw that in, and you'll be able to see everybody's getting super bearish at probably the wrong time because we're getting close here. 102.67, looking at this back on the daily chart, you'll be able to see it really clearly as we move together here. And we're going to draw the whole pattern in, clean it up just a bit, go from the low back here, 102.67, there's your A, B, C. Well, it's going to come in here right there. 102.26 is going to be the 61% retracement. So that's going to be really and super important. And if we move this over just a little bit, ooh, it, well, it can't be a head and shoulders because there's no symmetry here. There's a left shoulder, right shoulder, but there has to be symmetry. In other words, the time distance between the shoulder, the head, and the shoulder has to be equal. And this isn't even close to that. All this is an ABCD move uh, to the downside of what you're looking at right here, okay? So that's what we're watching here with this. Now, someone's also asked a question about the British pound, which we haven't seen in a while. And uh, please don't don't even think about buying this wheat, folks, until uh, Sunday night or Monday. We might have to pay up for it, but chances are uh, we won't uh, because it's got a couple of lowers. We got that big report tomorrow. Okay, here is the uh, British pound. And as you can see, we hit the 382s here several times right on the money look what we're doing now we're going up we're getting ready to take this out we've already we're already exceeding the ABCD you can see that right now just draw this in that's another reason for the dollar to be weak you can see it's already exceeded way past the 78 percent level so that's why that dollar index is continuing to go lower we went through this like it didn't even exist so that's uh, what we're watching in this dollar index. Pay attention to that 102.26, folks. Get below that. There's going to be uh, major, major trouble in these darn things. And then you'll have some real serious things that you'll have to, uh, you know, walk through if you're in these currencies. Okay, we have one other question. <laughs> Haven't looked at this in a long time. This is the, the Hang Seng Index. And if you remember, we had this uh, big bottom down here at the uh, ABCD level. We've had the rally up. You can see here is where we are. Remember, there's a lot of things going on in China. Okay, there was the there was the ABCD to the downside. You can see that clearly, ABCD to the downside. There's your ABCD to the upside. 
There's your 382 right on the money. Now it's starting to back and fill here. It's been two weeks and it hasn't collapsed. A good sign for the folks in Hong Kong. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at this. Move this over just a little bit like this. And we'll see where we are from your low up to your high. It's been to your 382. We're in the third day of testing that 382. This could be really interesting, folks, because there is a small ABCD in here. And even though this market's been bearish for a long time, the news is pretty much into the market. So it's held up. It really has three days in a row at this uh, uh, 16,100. So it's 200 points away. Below this, suggests we're going to go a little lower. Ah, aha. Stay tuned, Billy Ray. I see something important. Yo. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Let's check the time frame here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, we are in the zone. Almost. Yes, we're close. Okay, there's your head and shoulders pattern right there. There's your left shoulder right here. 159, okay? This is 160, okay? There's your there's your game plan. You see there's 159.65. This is higher than that. So this is a potential for a good head and shoulders pattern for three reasons. A, you've got really good time. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, okay? Symmetry, perfect. Oh, well, nearly perfect. Right at the 382, you're down uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days. Held up relatively well. This has got a chance to, to have a rally. So uh, let's pay attention to that one. If you trade Hong Kong, I know our, I'm going to make a video tonight for our friends over there. And we'll see uh, how it all works out. Okay. Anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, with that. And we'll see what's moving on to the next one here. And I see the market is still rallying like a like the striped deer that it is. Hold on one second here, folks. I want to get this out of the way and get these others out of the way here. And we'll move this. I think we just hit that. Uh, there's the dollar index. We got that out of the way. We got this out of the way. And uh, we just hit the uh, 1.618 expansion right there, folks, in the S&P at uh, 151.6250, uh, I think, is the number we're watching. So let's see if that's going to stop it. That's the number that should stop it, because if that doesn't stop it, there's nothing going to stop it. Now, let's just see if the NASDAQ has blown out. Oh, it has. The NASDAQ has taken out the highs. Yep, the NASDAQ has taken out the highs of our coveted day. Oh, no, it has not. Let's clean this up a little bit. We'll do, redo it anyway. Okay, there's our high. was right here at uh, one. Oh, it's quite a ways. 183, uh, 72, 18,372. We're at You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to take a look at soybean oil now. You know that I've been following this for quite some time. You know, this downtrend line has just been penetrated here. Uh, we were expecting that to happen. Uh, beans are a little bit stronger. We're watching the, um, the November soybeans, of course. They've uh, had a pretty good run to the upside. Uh, but the corn has also been moving good. I believe we're making some type of a major bottom in here, folks. And believe me, the one that is going to be the biggest, well, Let's not say that, Larry, because you never know. But this wheat is so oversold that I haven't seen anything so oversold in a very, very long time. And uh, from what I understand from listening to what Rich Anderson, who knows this stuff as good as anybody, it's Mr. Putin who is pushing the prices down to make it tough for – Ukraine to get money, and that's fundamental stuff that I don't know diddly squat about, but I thought I'd share it with you because I don't know what the hell's going on. All I know is that I'm getting ready to buy it, and I'm going to be buying it. So I'm going to be buying it on Sunday night most probably unless Friday gets some type of a major washout where we get it at a level that I think would be, uh, you know, giveaway prices. Well, they're almost giveaway prices already. Remember, it used to be thirteen fifty a bushel. Now it's five under five fifty a bushel. Are you kidding me? I mean, what kind of a discount is that? You think the, the world is going to stop eating crackers, cookies, and cakes, and bread? I don't think so. No, I don't. Anyway, this is December oil, and it's going to be a long-term thing. We're going to have a lot of what we call uh, crop scares as we go through these years. Uh, this uh, growing year, we haven't had any really major ones, but we do have some that occur you know, all the time, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. The other one that is really interesting is the soybean meal. I keep bringing these up, and the only reason I do it is we got to be prepared for them, folks. This is the soybean meal is – hello, SM. Where are you? Right here. There's where we are. There's your Dees meal. We'll get this up here, and you'll see here it's actually holding up a tiny, tiny bit today. But, you know, we still have a p potential to go just slightly lower. The main one has been made right here at 32. We're, we're trading just a little above it right now. We're – Basically uh, up on the day, but near the lows of the day, so not much going on in here. I'm watching for a potential if this report is really negative uh, that we're coming in here on Friday. I'm going to blow this up so we can see it here uh, where we'd be watching. This is the now. This is a three drive pattern, folks. It's got all the things necessary that we like to see. I'll be sending a video out on this um, definitely uh, tonight because. Uh, this is one that will be affected by the uh, 
thing. And if we get a good break to the downside, this is the one that looks really interesting. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. What we'll do is we'll just do the ratios first from your low up to your high. There's our first buy signal right there, 330 down eight bucks. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll, oh, hello operator. Shut the front door and raise the rent. If you can't buy this one, turn off the machine and don't listen to me anymore. There's drive one, drive two, drive three, 331. Uh, it's down seven bucks. That's not unusual for it to break that much. Look at the number of times coming down. We're right over a, a, a lunar cycle. Let's just double check the lunar cycle since we're right here and we've got time between uh, boys and girls here. And we'll just get up here, put up the moon phases on the bottom. And we're going to see the last time. Well, you can't see it because it's been coming down so much, but we'll just draw it in. Okay, your last time you had one, you were right on the day from the low. Okay, this one here was a day off the low. Uh, this one here was a uh, not really much going on here. We got another one coming in right here. I haven't checked the others, but I'm not really worried about that. I, I do patterns, folks. You know, you give me this pattern, I'm going to win eight out of ten times. That's basically it. The whole world's going to be bearish, and they'll get it down to this level here. And you know exactly what you have to risk. You're going to buy it at 331, and you risk five dollars. You put your stop at 527 or 525, 531, 526. So you buy it at 5:30 and put a stop at 5:25. Risk 500 bucks. Become a farmer. That's not so bad. That's within the range of a day. You know they have those swings all the time. So let's uh, let's play uh, play close attention to that. All right. Okay, that's pretty much what we're watching here. So let's move on and we'll see what is going on with everything else. Did the uh, hold on one second. I want to see where the uh, where this S&P is because I know I want to see this Dow Jones because it's starting to rally back up again with the S&P going above all the numbers now it appears that this one's going to be going up too to make this level here of uh, 38976 so that's what I would be paying attention to here uh, today I think it's going to get there today but uh, we'll have to wait and see but remember this is this is not related to the AI stuff very much the Dow Jones but it's you know it's been weaker look we made new highs now in the Nasdaq or almost we made new highs in the S&P and this one's just barely approaching the 50% retracement of these other moves that that's just done so this is not this is not a scary one for sure I mean, it's not going down, but, you know, <laughs> that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to here today. So what's this number here? Basically, it's uh, 39,000 uh, is the number you'd be watching here. Right around 39,000 is where the resistance should come in. That's the 78% level of this move right here. But again, what it's doing, you see, we thought that that thing in the NASDAQ was going to work, and it, it worked for two days, and it didn't work anymore. And that's what that's what happens with the past. Am I disappointed? Hell no. Uh-oh. Heck no. The reason why I get disappointed all the time. If I if I worried about getting disappointed on uh, stuff that I do, uh, I would really be uh, beating myself in the head. OK, so <laughs> let's uh, remind ourselves of that as we look at these things unfold. OK, so that's what we're watching here. We got two minutes to go there. Let me see, check and see if we've got anybody in the no one's asking anything else about this, but uh, we have a, a Friday tomorrow. We, I, there's probably another big event tomorrow. Let's get rid of the oil here because we want to be watching the, the grain report tomorrow. Uh, we're going to re be reporting on that. Uh, oh, I won't be here tomorrow. Shut the front door. I'll do the video tonight, uh, but I won't. Ooh, where am I going to be? No, I'll be in the air. I won't. Uh, Hmm. I'll just well we'll make it out. You probably probably should wait till Sunday night to buy the wheat, no matter what. But I'm going to give you the numbers. That number in the meal, I'm going to I take that. I'll put that order in right after the close here today to buy the meal at 3:30 uh, on the Christmas meal and put a stop at uh, 3:25. That's 500 bucks. But that's a three drive to a bottom pattern, right over what we think is a pretty good cycle. So we'll find out if that means very much or not. Okay, let's check and see if the um, if the Nasdaq has made that high yet, I know it's getting really close. I got to, I got to change this, folks. Otherwise, it's going to drive me nuts. Here's go. Oh, yeah, we may. Oh, we're way above the 1.618 now. You see what's happening here? Yeah, we've we've exploded through the 1.618 level. So there's really nothing you can do to um, to think that that's going to be it because it looks like it's going to just continue to go up forever. So, and if it does. 
that's the way it is. So who knows? I did see this last night, folks. <laughs> I was uh, fortunate enough, I happened to be watching the, the Dow Jones hit this exact. Well, I'll show it to you here because I happen to be one of the smarter things that I did last night in the middle of the night. Where is the Dow Jones? It's right here. There we go. Here's where we are. Move this over here. Last night, there, there it was. Last night, we'll blow this up. There it was sitting right at the 78% level right here. And I covered it right there. Unfortunately, I put it back out up in here, and I'm still in it. So we'll see see what happens. So, hey, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. Next week, Peter Lighty's on Tuesday. Bob Miner on, on Wednesday. And on Friday, I think we're going to have Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. This is the NASDAQ that we spent some time on over the weekend. We thought this was the high. Market broke pretty good. We got down. Uh, we, well, the number on the S and P was, of course, um, fifty one. Uh, wait, is it fifty one? Oh dear, I forget. Fifty nine. Let, let's just double check what it was. I forget the number. Forget the handles on them. Sometime. Where were we on the stop and P here? I don't even see it. Shut the front door. I don't know where it is. What is it? Fifty nine sixty. Yeah, fifty nine sixty is what it was. I believe. 151. Boy, this is. Where in the heck is it? 
Cascade. Hold on a second here. Here it is. Yeah, it's 150. It was 151.59 right over here, and we went above it by quite a bit. We're 151.69, so we're still going higher. That thing that we did with the NASDAQ was so perfect. Okay, there it is right there, and it didn't work. So you stand aside. You know, there's going to be another horse coming down the track, as they say, getting ready for the Kentucky Derby. But it worked for two days, and that was it. And then, boom, away it went to the upside. Don't stand in front of the freight train, folks. There's going to be lots of tickets to buy and sell before that uh, train makes its final destination, whatever it's going to be. And it is seems to be going higher forever. So forever could last a long time in here. This was perfect for it to go down. It went down two days, and it didn't work. Well, it might have worked for a short period of time, but it's not working right now. The only other one you have is the Dow Jones. And frankly, on a day like today, with everything going crazy to the upside, I wouldn't even be – well, I have to recommend doing that. Well, it's right there now. Shut the front door almost. We're almost right there right now. Nope. Well, we're, we're still 100 points away, uh, 74 points away. 3,900 is that number uh, right in here if you want to do that ABCD. Now, this shouldn't be affected by, by – let's just do it on a uh, smaller time frame. You can see it a little better. Move it over like this. Yeah, there it is. There's the one we're waiting to see, and that would take you up to this level right here. Now, this just shouldn't be affected with the AI stuff, but there's so much emotionalism that who knows. So – there's your number. There's your 78% retracement there last night with a nice ABCD. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and 